I have a question for you. Do you like to party? Of course, who doesn't, right? Birthdays. Weddings. Big salary. Retirement. Or maybe just simply a party. You know? <laughs> well, that's fine. But I'm asking you, do you like to get on the groups and shake it up? Yeah, that sounds interesting to you. Well, I have good news for you. Today we are starting a new series on DIY with Triple K135 called the Party Series. And here we are going to be making some party accessories and party decors which we can use when throwing a party ourselves. Sounds cool, right? <laughs> well, I'm also preparing myself to be throwing a party for a friend. And today we're making one of the party games called the Wire Loop Game. Let's go. So, a wire loop game. Honestly, I'd like to say that this is a project I've made in my sixth grade for a science fair at school. And this is a very simple project to make. It's a very simple circuit and it's very, a very simple game. It's very fun. So I'd just like to show you the basics of some electrical circuits. So right here we've got a basic simple circuit, simple electrical circuit. These three things are resistors or resistance or we can use uh, some other component in place of this. This will still work fine. So this is a battery right here comprised of two cells and the current always moves from the negative terminal to the positive terminal like this okay now there's another funny thing about the current it has a very serious attitude problem it will only run through a complete circuit the current will not run through a neck and an incomplete circuit like for example right here we've got a complete circuit but if we keep a key or a switch the the circuit can be broken Another thing, there are two types of connections in, electric, in electricals, the series connection and parallel connection. Series connection is when you connect some components in a straight line, like this, in a straight line, these are in series. A parallel connection occurs when you are connecting them in two different lines arising from one single source. Means. The power source is coming here, that power supply is coming from here and this is divided into two parallel lines. So these two are in parallel connection. Okay, so that's what we've got, the series and parallel connections. Right here these three resistance are in series connection but if we keep three more from the same power supply in parallel line to this, then we have the par two parallel connections. So that's all there is to it for now. And based on this principle, we are going to be making our wire loop game today. And the only things we need are a metal coat hanger, a metal paper clip, some wires, a cardboard box, a switch, of course, and a wooden stick. That's all we need. So I'll just quickly show you the electrical circuit for our wire loop game. So that is our wire loop game and this right here which we've got, this is the metal coat hanger which is bent into whatever shape we need. This is the paper clip made into a loop or a hoop and it is kept on top of a wooden stick. The connection from the paper clip is going to a bulb which shows when the game is over and that is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal goes to the key and to the coat hanger. So when the key is on, the current moves from the negative terminal 
through the key and onto the coat hanger and when the loop touches the coat hanger then the circuit is complete so that's how we work the wire loop game now without further ado let's get making our project for today let's go so first what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take this metal coat hanger and bend it into whatever shape we need our wire to be in our wire loop game so I'll just set these things aside look challenging enough <laughs> okay so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same with our metal paper clip we're gonna bend it open and turn it into a loop now what we're gonna do is we are gonna start the wire works so you do remember the electrical circuit which we drew over there don't you So you do remember the electrical circuit over there. So let's get our electrical circuit made up, shall we? Okay, so a slight change in plans. We are not going to be using the 9 volt battery because I already tried two of these LEDs, 3 volt LEDs which I have on these and both of them got burned out so we are not going to be using that. Okay, see, so you now understand what happens when you give a higher voltage supply than the required, right? Always remember that. So instead of that, we are going to be using our 1.5 volt battery over here. got our circuit set up to here <clears throat> now from the other end of the LED bulb the wire is going to go to the wooden stick and onto the loop which is going to be wound around here and I forgot to put the loop in <laughs> okay I'll just put that in Set up. Now we are going to connect that wire onto the wooden stick. Now I don't have a wooden stick but instead I am using this, a file binder and that wire is going to go to the other end of the LED so the circuit will be complete then over here.
the LED is lighting up over here. So it is definitely working. So we see today how fun and easy it was to make the wild loop game. And the only things we used are the stuff lying around our house, like the metal coat hanger, the paper clip, the shoe box, and okay, some wires which we used that I bought. Actually, I bought a whole set of five pack, five wires, five color wires, each of two meter, for thirty rupees. So the wire which we used should cost about maybe one, two, or three rupees max. And the other stuff which we bought, they are. Well, one is a 9 volt battery and the other one is a 5 rupee switch. So that will come to a total of 35 rupees. And that is like less than one dollar. Less than one dollar, to be honest, uh, about 49 cents perhaps. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please do give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more DIY projects. And do click the bell button down there so you can stay notified about my upcoming projects. Thank you everyone for watching. This is Shiro K signing out.